Welcome back guys and today I'm going to show you how many GPUs do you need to be able to have the average mining power on NiceEdge. So if you have like 6, 12, 20 GPUs and you actually think that you have more than average uh, GPUs than the average miner, just continue to watch this video and you will find out. So to be able to do this calculation you have to go to NiceEdge.com and over here you have a list of every single payment that they ever did. So just click on all payments and you will see that the last payment was 3.66 bitcoins and that actually wasn't payment to a single miner. So if you click on the transaction ID right here, you will see the list of full addresses to which uh, this money went. So these 3.66 bitcoins went to about 200 addresses and you can see every single one and how much did they get. And if you click on some random address, maybe like this one, you can see every single transaction that this person ever got to this address. So this person got 21 transactions and it got 0 0.23 bitcoins total and currently it has 0 0.13 bitcoins total. And if you scroll down to the end of the page, you can see when it was the first transaction that they got it. So you can see the date right here. So this might be the time when they actually started mining with NiceHash. So, to do this calculation, I took last 2000 transactions that NiceHash paid out to people and I've put them into the Excel spreadsheet. So, you can see the address right here and the amount that they got paid. And then what I did was just I took this uh, address out, took this BTC symbol out and I ended up with this. So, this number here is the amount that this address right here got paid. And if you scroll down to the end of the spreadsheet, you can see that the total amount was 36.08 bitcoins across 2000 bitcoin addresses. And that means that the average address got 0.018 bitcoins, which is $166. And since NiceHash pays you once per week, that means that the average miner gets $166 per week. So how many GPUs is that? So if we go to profitability calculator, you can see that some kind of average GPU for mining like GTX 1066 GB version is getting you $9 per week. So that would mean that you need 18 GTX 1060 6 GB versions to be able to call yourself an average miner. Or if you have something like one rig with 6 Vega 64 cards, then you also get almost the same results. So if you have maybe like 10 or 12 GPUs like GTX 1060, you are actually below the average amount of GPUs that the miner has. So when the AMD says that only 10% of their sales were to miners last year, that I really don't believe that because when a miner is buying 18 GPUs on average, that is more GPUs than person buys in a lifetime. Because if you change your GPUs once per two or three years, and you can see that in Steam hardware survey, that the most popular GPU right now is uh, the 750Ti, you know that gamers on average change their GPUs once per three years. So the average miner buys more GPUs than average person buys in 50 years. So most likely the average share for AMD from miners was something like 50% or maybe even more than that in the last year. So let me know down in the comments if you are actually bigger or smaller miner than the average, nice miner on average. But if we would actually calculate even the biggest mining farms which have 1000, 2000 or even up to 10,000 GPUs, then this number would be a lot higher, but we cannot calculate them because they don't mine on NiceEdge. They probably run their own pools and find shares on their own without help of other people. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know once again if you get more than $166 per week and see you soon in another video. Bye.